Yuji Rohanma is the most skilled fighter in the Baki series and he has a wide knowledge of probably every existing technique or if he does not know about some techniques he can learn to a perfect level only see it at once. But of course in the series only shown some of the techniques that Yujiro has in his arsenal. So about techniques that were shown we gonna talk in this video. One of Yujiro's most common moves. Uh, the user raises their leg higher than the opponent's head and pulls it down quickly. It is mainly used to strike the enemy's head, shoulders and also the nose. It consists of taking a leap to stand on the enemy, then the body is turned to drop a strong spin kick against the opponent. The skill is a special ability to boost body reflexes and speed when you are about to meet death. Yujiro taught little Baki about this ability, which means he also achieved the death concentration skill. At first, the user makes a stand that looks very open for attack, then he starts to walk towards his opponent. By the time the opponent performs an attack, the user uses his reflexes to instantly attack his opponent. However, performing this technique is difficult, as it can only be done by someone with exceptionally good reflexes, such as Yujiro Hanma. The user grabs one of the opponent's finger and throws him. The demon face is a technique in which the user very forcefully flex the back muscles to perform the face of a demon. The user becomes many times stronger to their level prior to activation in every aspect, experiencing an increase in physical strength, speed, endurance, stamina and more. This is the strongest and uh, most common Yujiro's technique, he uses it every time, everywhere he goes. The user uses his teeth to tear the flesh and skin of the opponent's body. Powerful blow from the Wale Tudo, which is intended to damage man's most vulnerable and sensitive vital organ, the testicles. <laughs> Grappling technique. The fighter uses his hand excluding their thumbs, which the user then thrusts into the opponent's body like a spear. <laughs> Self-defensive technique. Defensive Shaori is a form of bodily control that allows the user to present zero resistance to uncommon blows. This makes the user's body feather-like. Blending with an attacker's movements allows the Aiki practitioner to control the actions of the attacker with minimal effort. The user applies Aiki by understanding the rhythm and intent of the attacker to find the optimal position and timing to apply a counter technique. <laughs> 
And now you're about to pay a price for going easy on me, you brat. You're not gonna like the cost. Pinch is a simple technique that requires the use of only a few fingers to squeeze a piece of the opponent's body. The more force the user puts into this technique, the more pain their opponent feels. Although it is a very easy move to perform, it causes a lot of pain. Its lethality is low, but the pain it causes is massive. The whip strike. The blow Bucky received was unlike anything he'd ever felt before. <laughs> Whip strike is a technique that involves the user making their body loose and fluid as possible, allowing the practitioner to use their arms like a whip, enabling them to perform powerful slaps, which affect the largest human organ, the skin. Between when the person is triggered and when become conscious, the person is unconscious for 0.5 seconds, and people can beat that person as much as they like for 0.5 seconds. So everybody, what do you think about my new way of teaching? Does it go too far? Human nunchucks. Just what is the person that it's being done to seeing as it happens? Not seeing, but saw. <laughs> An incredibly unique fighting style, this method of combat centers around grappling the opponent by their ankles or wrists uh, before spinning the victim around rapidly as if there were a pair of nunchaku. The speed at which they are spun gives uh, the illusion of a clock being formed around the user, which earned this technique the name dress. The victim can be used as a weapon to attack other people or the user can simply damage them by smashing them against obstacles. The technique is easier to perform when the opponent's body is smaller than the user. So this was all Yujiro's techniques he was shown using in the series so far. If this video was interesting to you, leave a like and subscribe for more. Leave your comments down below if I forgot some techniques. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, ring the bell for not to miss any new videos. Uh, for today I'm out. Bye! Look like from corruption, they're not benefit. From jump right to me, man, I'm watching.